Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm bringing you a mod installation and tutorial and review, excuse me, a review and installation tutorial for the camping mod for Minecraft 1.5.2 on your Mac. So before I really get into this mod, let me just say I'm not going to do a very in-depth review. I'm going to keep it pretty simple because there's not a whole whole lot to this mod. There's a lot of little things you can do and I'm not going to get into those. If you want to know how to do those, there's lots of more reviews online and there's of course the form itself. So go and look those up if you want a more in-depth review. I'm just here to really give you a minor review and give you a tutorial on how to install it because that's probably the hardest part. All right. So as you can see, I have my fires here. Each one has its own little ability. The red fire is the best. That's the worst. That's the medium, and then it just goes from there. That's like the, uh-oh, don't step on them, though. Because you can see that doesn't work out very well. I've got it on peaceful, so I'm all right right now. And I've got my little tent here with my sleeping bag that I can sleep in. And I've got this stuff. So let's take a look at this stuff. You know what the fireworks are. I got those because they're fun. I've got my camper's tool, which is used on certain items, like that and like that. So you can collect the fire without it being destroyed. It just does stuff that fits well with the mod. That's really all it does. I can't really explain it. But yeah, it retracts stuff. I have radishes. So when you destroy grass, you can get radishes instead of seeds. And you can eat the radishes in a very odd manner. You can roast marshmallows like that, and then they turn into cooked marshmallows. You have to put these on a stick. So I think if I can get wood here, and I get the wood, and I turn it into the sticks, then... I can make me some marshmallows. I might need a crafting table. It's a good thing this one behind me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do -do 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 nope. Okay, well, I'm just a little idiot here. Don't know. I'm dumb. Like I said, look at the actual mod if you want all this. But I know there's a way to do that, then you can make those. And you can roast yourself some marshmallows. Um, what else is there? That's pretty much it. There's a couple, there's a bunch of little things you can do, and there's these bags you can store stuff in, which is nice. Hold on, let me look at everything that's in it. Do -do -do -do. I think I have most of it covered, though. It doesn't do a lot, but it just adds a nice little element to your game, which adds, which makes it a little more fun, which I like. Oh, here's all the, it can do a lot more if you actually take the time to read the books, but <laughs> who reads books, right? Uh, yeah, it just tells you how to make them, what they do. Let's get back into that. Yeah, this only has one page. Oh no, there's way more. The decoration campfire. Do, 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 do. Wait a second. What? What? The cheap campfire costs four ender pearls, but it's cheap? What? Alright, whatever. I'm not going to get into making myself explode here over understanding how that works because I don't know how that works. What am I doing? I guess I can feed the fire. I don't know. But that's really it, guys. There's not a whole ton to it. So, let's light some fireworks, guys. Look at that. That's just pretty. Look at these. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. What's going on here? Look at that. That's just beautiful. Just wonderful. Whoa. Those are really low to the ground. What are those? These must be one. They are blowing up right in my face. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's get up these suckers. These are nice. Oh, nice. And these ones. Trailblazing. Yeah. Okay. So that's the mod, guys. I'm not going to get into anything, because that's really all there is to it. It's a very basic mod, but it adds enough to the game and it's fun. So that's really all I'm going to get into. Like I said, a lot more tutorials out there. Go check them out. So let's get into the actual installation. Hey there guys, alright, so let's get into this installation. So there's going to be three links in the description. There's going to be the link that will take you to the actual guy's website for the camping mod. There will be the custom Forge Universal file that I have made for you guys. And there will be too many items, which is optional, but I always like to have it, can't hurt. So that's what I have. We are not doing the automated installation because I don't believe it works for Mac, and even if it does, I haven't tried it. So I'm not doing that, I'm doing the good old manual way, it never fails me. So we'll do that. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go here to this website. The link will be in the description and click download. And once you're here, it will take you to all these videos and stuff because that's not right. 
So actually, stay on the website. I lied. Wait, no, I didn't. Click download. What did I have you guys click on the first time? I have no idea. Okay, but like I said, once you're here, hit download. My bad. Sorry for the confusion. And ignore this. This shouldn't happen to you. And then right here, you're going to wait for the ad. This is a lie. You guys should know how to do this by now. Please wait, and then hit skip ad up here in the top right. Alright, and then it should take you here. While this is loading, go to my link right here. Because that might take a bit for you to load. And you're going to go here and click download on that. This is my custom website. The link should be like that, pretty short. And that should download. You can exit out of that website now. So go back to this one that has the actual camping mod. You should see a folder called releases. Go in there. Then go to 1.5.2. Go in there. It's actually like a folder. Double click them. Then go to 1.0.d. And then go to the camping mod. Double click that. Down here, you should see a torrent kind of opening. That should happen. Down here, hit keep, or if it's Safari, hit OK. Or, yeah, that's all you should have. And then you should have those two. Now you can exit out of that. And then for too many items, if you want to download it optionally, you're going to go to downloads 1.5.2, another add fly link. Please wait, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then you're going to click skip add. And it should download that too. All right, so I'm now going to get those downloads and I'm going to put them on my desktop. Uh oh. For you, they should be here. I'll navigate them to them manually. Go to Finder, Downloads. Should be right there. So I'll do that instead. Save confusion. And you have these. All right. So there's two zip files. The too many items in the modding or the yeah, modding tutorials forge universal custom file I made for you guys. Those are both zip files. You're going to want to double click each one of them to unzip them. Now you should have two blue folders. Keep the blue folders, get rid of the zip folders that we just unzipped. You can drop those in the garbage. So now you should have two blue folders, a jar folder, and maybe this. That means nothing though. You don't need your hard disk. Alright. So now what you're going to want to do, I'm going to empty out my garbage here. Uh, you're going to want to go up here to Finder. If it says something different than Finder, just click anywhere on your desktop like this. Click. And it should say Finder. So I'm going to click on Go. Then I'm going to click on Go To Folder. And I'm going to type that in. Squiggly. It has a name for it, but it's all complicated. So I'm not going to say it. Squiggly backslash library. Capital L. I don't know if it matters, but it can't hurt to try. Let's put a capital L because it works for me. Then hit Go. Then you're going to want to go into Application Support. You're going to want to go into Minecraft, lowercase m, Minecraft. And you're going to want to go into your bin. Not that. Ignore what I just did. Go into bin. Then you're going to, then you're going to find a Minecraft.jar file. You're going to want to right click on it and click Get Info. Find the name and extension tab right here. Make sure the arrow is pointing downwards like that. And type in .zip. And then hit the hit the escape or exit button. Then this should pop up. Click use dot zip. Now you should have minecraft.jar.zip. Double click it. Then you should have a minecraft.jar blue folder. Get the minecraft.jar.zip and keep it on your desktop just in case something goes wrong in the installation. You can always just drag it back in, remove the dot zip, and have a fresh Minecraft. Okay, so now you're going to want to go into your minecraft.jar. And you're going to want to go to MT Forge Universal 1.5.2, and you're going to want to hit Command A to highlight all the files in the folder. Then you're going to want to right click and hit, excuse me, you're going to want to right click and hit Copy 245 items. And then you're going to want to go in here and hit Command V to paste all of those. Check the Apply to All box and hit Replace. You should now see a blue status bar filling up. It should go away, and you can exit out of the modding of the Forge Universal file. You can now go into the Too Many Items folder. Once again, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I recommend it. And do the same thing. Hit Command A, then copy them all by using Command C or right clicking and clicking copy. And go in here and hit Command V. Hit Replace. And you're done there. Okay, now comes a little bit of a harder part, but you should be able to follow along. So you're going to want to go back two times like I just did. I'm doing it again, so I can explain it. And then you're going to want to right click. Oh, by the way, you should be back in your Minecraft folder with bin and all that good stuff. And you're going to want to right-click, make a new folder, and name it Mods. No capitals, no spaces. If you put a capital or a space, it won't work. So M-O-D-S, just like that. And you're going to want to get the camping mod that we have here, 
and drag it in there. Or you can copy and paste it if you want to keep it. But I don't really need to keep it, so I'm going to drag it in there like that. Now it should be in the mods folder. And you're done. That's it. You just installed the camping mod and too many items. You just installed two, actually, three mods. So congratulations. You can now open on up your Minecraft and give it a little test out. Hopefully it worked. If you had any other mods installed, by the way, it might not work. It may conflict with them, but it shouldn't. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, Mojang, single player. We'll go back into the camping mod I just had on. Actually, oh, yeah. So, as you can see, it did work. But hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me create a new world just to prove to you that it worked because I don't know if people get that. But, yeah. So, as you can see, give it a minute. The mod, whoa, I'm thinking. You start with these five books, but the mod is working. So that's all there is to it, and the mod is installed. I don't know why the book isn't working. Okay, the books aren't working. Hopefully you don't need the books, because clearly the books aren't working. But everything else is. I've got my, got my stuff here. Go. Got all this good stuff. Eat my radishes. So yeah, as you can see, it is working. Oh uh, uh, yeah, and that's how you get radish seeds, by the way, if you were wondering. And that's it.